All right, moving on to Detroit, a proposed ordinance for the city is causing a little bit of friction. The new head of the Detroit Economic Growth Corporation says a proposed ordinance from city council tying community investment to big development projects would actually hurt business expansion in the city. Now, the ordinance would be the first of its kind in the country. When you're talking about big development projects, Stephen, though, and making sure that the community within those development projects would be taken care of as well, why why would that be a bad thing? Well, it's not, and and let, let's be clear. Uh, there should not be any big development uh, projects in the city of Detroit without community benefits agreements. I, I believe that strongly, and I think uh, the, the record of these kinds of things around the country would also back that up. Nobody else does it that way. Uh, at the same time, an ordinance like this, uh, which, which um, sort of cements it in and makes it impossible to do development without one adds to what are already a number of barriers uh, to doing development here. I mean, I think everyone's got to be very realistic about the fact that this is still not the most ideal place to do a lot of these things. This is still a place with a very high tax burden, with uh, uh, not, with a workforce that is not really ready yet to, to take on as many of these jobs uh, as will be made available. There are a lot of disincentives to people doing these kind of uh, projects, and so I think the smart way to deal with this is to try to come up with community benefits agreements that that help address uh, some of those some of those issues. Uh, but the the ordinance is sort of a lazy way um, of of adding just another hurdle uh, in front of these developers. So you're thinking case by case basis. Then I'm thinking no no ordinance at all. I mean a community benefit. Uh, of a big project or a small project is the growth in the economy and the growth in the tax base, See, really the job that. creation, the economic activity that springs from it. The problem with this ordinance isn't that it just hits big projects, and most big projects has some form of a community benefits agreement attached to it, or at, at, at least a gentleman's agreement, if you will. But this will apply to projects as small as $15 million. You're going to subject developers to negotiating with community activists. They're not negotiating with city officials. They've got to sit down with community activists. It's a shakedown agreement. People aren't going to come here and say, take the risk of investing in Detroit, which is already higher than in a lot of other places, and then have to sit down and promise a good chunk of their earnings, their profits. To outside groups, I, right, you what did you the, agree with? Well, I, I mean, uh, I, I don't agree that the only benefit that we uh, we get from these developments is is the development itself, and that's not the way it's done anywhere else in the country. You look at all these stadiums that get built uh, in, in other cities; they all have community benefits ag agreements, big projects, big infrastructure projects. Uh, I, I think it's important to look at what incited this this uh, ordinance from the council. It's the Red Wings deal. Uh, th there were lots of things talked about while that was going on about things that could be done uh, for the community. Uh, none of them ended up in there and so we have a humongous public uh, infrastructure project that we're giving them some two hundred million dollars worth of subsidy for no uh, benefits agreement. Oh That's, for God's sakes. It's unprecedented. Look, you look at this development, it's not just an arena. The Illich has built the community benefits right into it. They're building out whole neighborhoods and they're building the promised spin-off development up front, which has never happened before. And so they're spending money to build housing at every level, uh, to take neighborhoods that have been sitting there 50, 60 years just rotting and reviving them. But and now instance, they've got to write a shakedown check. To, well, but well, no, hang know, on. Let's, let's talk check. specifically about is. what specific community benefits you'd be looking for. Well, okay. What if we had uh, put a surcharge on tickets, a $5 surcharge on tickets, all of that went to schools? What would be wrong with that? I mean, the problem is not what, what, the, what the development will do in that area. It's going to do a lot of things in that area. The problem is... You have 140 uh, square miles of the city, most of which is still suffering from massive disinvestment, which has huge systemic problems that, that these developments need to start feeding. So do something for schools, do something for neighborhoods, at the same time you're doing something for downtown. Those were the kinds of things that the community benefits agreements that were on the table were, were trying to address. The Illiches uh, bristled at that. They got backed by the Snyder administration, which said, don't worry about it. And so now we have a deal well, with What they nothing. said was, we're not going to shake down every person who goes it's into not the a Red Wing Stadium with that's an extra $5 down. charge. You've already priced 
you know, a whole yeah. lot of the population out of buying tickets. Why not slap a five dollar charge on every loaf of bread you sell for crying out loud? I mean, it, because, it gets to the because point the where public you've subsidy got, that's going you've here got to trust some that a development of this size is going to be, be, give a return to everybody in the like form America of, Park in the form like of Ford Jeff. Field. Well, and they were built differently. That's exactly my point, that they're building in the community benefits up front See, with this housing, with these neighborhoods. Those aren't creating. community benefits. Not to, not to the whole city. Well, I, I think they benefit the whole city entirely. I think that what the problem that you're having with is you're saying a lot of things like you've got a trust that's going to happen in a gentleman's agreement, but when you do business, you want to see something more that's in writing. The other thing that the, that the elections bristled at was was uh, requirements for uh, local hiring. Uh, that, that's a, always a big issue with construction projects in Detroit, is that Detroiters uh, don't get uh, first crack or, an, or a fair crack all the time at the jobs. That's not in there. The Ilches have been uh, saying in good faith that they want to do that, that they, will, they have targets for themselves, but a target is really different from a requirement. In a city like this, with such a low-skilled workforce, you cannot lock in So why not those, build that in? You cannot lock in such it's such mandate, Steve, because you talk to contractors and they'll tell you, hard look, we find. spend a lot of money training Detroit workers. We get them trained. They get a job. They make money. They move to the suburbs. They're no longer Detroit workers. And we got to start all Sometimes over. Sometimes that happens. All right. So let's take, a, a lot. let's take a look now. Is this pr pretty much the <clears throat> first possible disagreement we have between the mayor and some members of city council that will have to be worked out? I, I mean, I think what, what council is saying is, look, this is important to us uh, and you got to pay some attention to, to, to our concerns, which we're speaking for uh, the people, you know, much more directly than they used to because they, they, they work in these districts. Uh, I, I don't think uh, that this will end up going, you know, 15 rounds to the mat. There will be some sort of compromise, but I think the point will be made at the end that we will not have uh, $200 million worth of public subsidy going to a billionaire uh, who has no requirement to, to do anything else for the community. All right, last word on this, Nolan. It won't, be, you can't have it apply to small pro projects. That'll get negotiated. I agree with out. that. And yeah. you can't have these project developers negotiating with, with community also activists. Also agree with that. Because that is an, a non-starter and it'll go nowhere. That's not going to happen.